Next up, um, we have the final Lifetime Achievement Award. It's a person synonymous with martial arts and freestyle. And we have, uh, Richard is just getting worn out coming out and down here, so I might just, might just call Billy up, you know, but uh, no, we'll call Richard back in. I waited until he sits down before I'm gonna call him back up again, because that's the sort of guy I am. But um, we're talking about Bob Jones, and I think, no, nobody in this room does. Oh, everybody in this room would know who he is and what he's achieved. And so many people have been influenced by him. And it's great to be able. Billy, what are you still sitting over there for? Come on. Yeah. I, because I'm going to let you guys just have a bit of a chat between yourselves about Bob. And there's probably actually the stories we go on for quite a long time, but we we haven't got that much time. We're going to cut it short because we've we're over time. But we know we've got plenty of time as long as you want to talk about Bob. Okay, Bob Jones, the, um, yeah, he's, you can announce it. Yeah. We'll keep this a little short. Um, Bob, of course, apologized for not being here, but I, I know he would be absolutely thrilled to be in the company of uh, all you fellow martial artists, particularly, of course, you know, Jack Rosinski, Tin uh I don't know whether you all know, but Bob was a, a student of both these gentlemen. Started his whole journey back in the 60s, uh, as was I, and not with Jack, but with Tina Hunchi. So I know Bob would be absolutely thrilled. Um, as you know, with uh, continuing on from that journey from the uh, Canterbury Dojo with Tina Hunchi, Bob decided he wanted to create his own brand of martial arts, um, a Zendokai, it was called, now known as. BJMA, Bob Jones Martial Arts, and that was in 1970. He asked me to go with him, and uh, I did, and what an incredible journey that's been. But the great thing about, uh, you never know at the time when you're starting something, whether it's right, wrong, or whatever, but Bob was had so much foresight. He was an entrepreneur, and uh, he, he just thought out of the box. I think we'd agree that Bob was one of the first to start what I would call an eclectic system. I mean, back in those days, martial arts was very much, not in a bad way, but blinkers on. If you did Shotokan, that's all you did. If you goju, that's what you did, etc., etc. But Bob and uh, was the first to sort of be open-minded and be able to bring boxing, wrestling, grappling, etc., into what we did in our Elizabeth Street dojo back in the 70s, early 70s. In fact, it you know, was very much a, a precursor to mixed martial arts, of course, not to the same degree of you know, um, development that it is now, but it was an interesting time, and it's all born out to be the best and right thing to do, as in a martial arts, a mixed martial arts environment we experience today. And again, Bob was uh, forward enough to think and incorporate that into a style in the 70s. It's still going on today. There's clubs all over Australia and New Zealand. And it's an incredible system, and it's uh, it's creating a, a great sort of martial benefit to the community. And um, again, I you know, for me personally, I wouldn't have had the life I had. Of course, not you know, I've always said <coughs> Tina Hunchies, my dad in the martial arts. And, you know, that started an incredible journey. And, of course, then with Bob, you know, had I not gone there, I would not have gone overseas. You know, I ended up doing personal security work as a result of Bob. Went overseas and I couldn't imagine what my life had would have been had I not taken that opportunity. And, again, you know, I've got to thank Bob for that, for giving me that opportunity. And uh, we're still friends 56, seven years later, and that's pretty remarkable. A lot of marriages don't last half that long. <laughs> so, you know, I, I'm very thankful for that friendship that I've had with, with Bob. And again, I think just an incredible contribution to the martial arts. Um, so again, Billy. I think you said it all. <laughs> uh, all I can basically say, just quickly, part of my story, uh, I joined up 
Bob Jones in 1970, three months after it opened. And um, <clears throat> I trained overseas as Mother Styles. I remember walking in and uh, I was a brown belt. And I remember walking in, looking at the guys training. Richard was taking class, and Dave Berry and Paul Fleming, all the old boys were training. And they were blue belts. And I sort of said to Bob, well, I'm a brown belt, but I'm nowhere near as good as those blue belts. All right, because the style I guess I was doing overseas wasn't the best. All right, so but I was lucky enough to, uh, to train with Bob and Richard as my teachers. I think, Richard, you were a first cue then, because I saw you go for your black belt, mm -hmm. and Bob was black. And uh, all I've ever heard about what Bob talks to is that he started with Jack and then went to Tino, that they were his original teachers, because Bob was running a security empire at the same time, and he wanted to have an edge on the average you know, a street fighter with his martial arts. And I've grown up with these two men, um, my parents were business orientated, so they were always busy. And so I found my family in, in the club. And I got very close to Bob and Richard, both being my mentors and my teachers. And from there, I think Richard's pretty much covered it all. Um, I think most of you realise that Bob was a great, uh, like, he was first in a lot of things. I remember he brought out a red gi for a sensei, and people sort of, they didn't rubbish it, but they sort of, you know, I guess hung it on it a bit. Now at nearly every dojo I go to, a red gi is a sensei gi, you know. So he was like, like Tino and Jack themselves. He was very much, you know, an innovator. And always open-minded. We, <clears throat> we met Barry and all that. We, we cross-trained. I remember Bruce, although you teach traditional karate, Bruce started a lot of kickboxing as well. He just wanted to fight and spar. So he came to all of our tournaments and fought in our so-called non-semi-full-contact tournaments. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I think Sylvia can agree with that as well. <laughs> We've all entered them. All right, so uh, yes, there's much, not much to say except that. No, just very, very honoured to accept this award on behalf of Bob Jones. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. And <laughs> thanks, Graham, also. I know everybody's thank you, but... It's a, a huge amount of work I know you've put into putting this together and I think it surpassed even what you thought it would be, which is, which is lovely. You um, put your energy in so many different projects. So yeah, so thank you awesome. for making this possible. Thank you very much. From all of us, I'm sure. So again, on behalf of Bob, thank you.